Please welcome our next contestant, Maya Zen Altin. What is fake news? What is fake news, Maya Zen Altin? Let's conduct an experiment. I'm going to present to you four headlines that have been in the news recently. But only one of these is a true story. I want you to think which one it is. Okay, ready? Here we go. Angela Merkel calls for German-led EU army. Pizza company makes heated letterbox to keep deliveries hot. The UK will not take part in Eurovision from 2019. Blue dogs. Blue dogs spotted in India. It's difficult to judge, right? With so much information bombarded at us by so many forms of media, it's an almost Herculean task of stepping back a moment and applying some critical thinking and cross-referencing. So, fake news can have a relatively harmless and humorous effect, but they can also have a huge and disastrous consequences. One of the greatest blessings given to us in life is the ability to think freely. So why don't we always use it? Why have we stopped using this gift wisely? Why do we neglect it and leave it under the control of others? Let me show you something else. What do we see? Seems obvious, doesn't it? A man fearing for his life while another is determined to end it. But let's look at the whole picture, shall we? That's the whole picture. Isn't it funny how parts of the truth can be taken out of context to show another reality? This is what makes it so difficult, and it's not a simple case of seeing is believing. With the development of technology and how we receive information, it has become incredibly easy for others to control our minds and to direct them towards their own agendas. We may be captivated by an idea, for a person, or for the orientations and interests of a particular community. We have to be selective with regards to what we consume from the vast amount of information we hear and see every day. This remarkable advancement of technology had led to the dramatic growth of media influence in society. The telegraph and post offices, the radio, the newspaper and magazines, the internet and cell phones, all of these have been greatly influencing us for the last five decades. This influence of media on society today should definitely be noticed and tackled before this epidemic peaks and becomes impossible to regulate. We depend on the media to get information, to decide for us what is right, what is wrong, to determine important issues of trivial ones. We have trusted the media as a reliable source from where we seek information, education, news, and entertainment. So, practice critical thinking, scrutinize every idea, Examine whatever you hear and see, and do not be like a forgetful God, allowing everyone to enter the building without any checks. The enslavement of human beings is a punishable offense in all countries of the world. But what happens when our minds are enslaved? Is there a law that puts an end to such a crime? There is the law that we must put. The choice is ours. We either free our minds, or keep them captive to others and their interests. And as Gandhi said, I will not let anyone walk through my mind with their dirty feet. Thank you.